everyone, I'm Kelly with The Suburban Soapbox, and today I am making the best burger ever. We're going to grill up a Juicy Lucy, which is a juicy cheeseburger, but the cheese is stuffed inside. Let's get started. So to make your Juicy Lucy, you're going to need some ground beef, cheese, and burger seasoning. And then obviously the accoutrements that go with a burger like lettuce, tomato, onion, ketchup, mustard, bun. But to start, we're going to use an 80-20 ground beef. I like the 80-20 because there's like a good amount of fat in there which keeps your burger from drying out. It still stays juicy, but it's not overly fatty. And then you'll need the cheese. And I like to use a sharp American cheese. I, you don't have to use orange. I just like the orange because when you cut into it, it's like very dramatic and oozes out and is just fabulous. And then the burger seasoning. So I like to use my homemade burger seasoning. You can get this recipe on the suburbansoapbox.com. It's a blend of like brown sugar and some really amazing spices. And then of course, salt and pepper but you can also buy burger seasoning at the store. So to start, we're just going to mix together the burgers and sprinkle in a little bit of the burger seasoning. I'm just gonna break up because the hamburger comes like in the package, it's all rectangular. And the key here is to make sure that you don't compact that burger meat too much. So I wanna break it up a little bit and then I'll sprinkle on the seasoning. We're just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of that burger seasoning. And then you're just gonna blend that in to the hamburger. So that looks good. So you're gonna divide your burger meat up into three large, larger balls and then three smaller balls. And that's so that your cheese doesn't ooze out. That's gonna give you three Juicy Lucy burgers. You can certainly make your cheeseburger smaller if you want to make like a slider. But I like the big beefy burgers the best. So just kind of eyeball it. I mean, you can put it in one big ball and divide it up that way, but this method works for me. And I just like, I'll eyeball it and make sure that they're all pretty even in size. You have little leftover pieces and just like stick them on top. And now we're gonna shape them into a flatter patty. So to do that, I just kind of use like, press them together and use my thumb to shape it into a burger. And then press it down so it's kind of thin. And again, you don't wanna compact your ground beef. Okay, and now the smaller ones. And you just do the same thing, you're just making a smaller size patty. It's kind of like your lid for your burger. And before I even wash my hands, I'm just gonna kind of make sure everything is shaped appropriately and then I'm gonna cut up my cheese. So the cheese I have is the Sharp American. You can stuff your burgers with any type of cheese you want. You can use cheddar. I really actually love cheddar, but sometimes it can be a little overwhelming because there's a lot of cheese in here. And you're just gonna cut it up into cubes. And it's okay that my hands are still gross because this is going into the burger and then we're gonna cook it. So, gross hands are okay. We will wash our gross hands before I put it on the grill. Okay. And this is probably more cheese than we'll need because the recipe that I used calls for um, six burgers and we're only making three. But you just wanna pile it in the center Get close to the edges. Make sure your edges don't have any cracks. And press it down a little bit. 
and you don't want to take it all the way to the edge because then your cheese is going to seep out. And some seepage is okay, but you don't want to lose all your cheese into the grill. And now we're going to lid it up. So we're just going to take that top burger patty and place it on top. And what you want to do is fold up the edges. So we're going to fold and kind of pat it to close. And that's why you want the bottom to be a little bit larger than your top so that you can actually fold it up. Make sure you sealed all the sides together. And then we're going to do that same motion that we did when we made the burger patty. You kind of just shape it with your thumb and your hand again. And make sure there's no holes. And that's your first burger patty. All right, now all three burgers are assembled. Definitely beefy magic right there. No go wash your hands. So now we're gonna grill our burger patties. And one tip I wanna share with you is you're going to need like a skewer or a chopstick because you're going to need this to release the steam. So we're gonna cook the burgers on one side and then flip them and you're gonna poke a little hole in the top and this is gonna release the steam. That is how you keep the cheese inside your burger. So, lift up one burger. I'm gonna put it right directly on the flame and then we'll move it if it gets too hot. I am not a charcoal grilling pro. I will just put that out there. But this is really the most flavorful way to cook a burger is over a charcoal grill. If you use your spatula for the raw meat like I did, be sure to wash it. All right, while our burgers are cooking, we're going to cut up some lettuce, tomato, and onion. The burger is great all on its own, but I like a little crunch from some vegetable. All right. So those are ready. Now we're gonna flip the burgers. So it's getting a little smoky. And they look about ready to flip. So now that we flipped our burgers over, we're just gonna poke that hole in the top, like I mentioned. And that just releases some of the steam from the cheese. And that'll stop your burgers from exploding with the cheese. Now I like a medium rare burger, but for these you can cook them all the way through if you like. They're still gonna, whew, still gonna taste just as delicious the lid and let them finish cooking. Our burgers are almost done. I'm just going to move them a little bit because with charcoal you have some spots that, especially when you're not a pro like me, your spots are a little hotter in others. So I just want to make sure they're cooked through. So if you're using a thermometer like 145 to 150 for like medium rare to medium, because they're gonna to continue to cook once you take them off of the grill. But I usually just touch them once they start to steam a little firm and the juices are starting to run clear, you can take them off. Again, I like a medium rare burger, so usually when I cut into mine, it's like pink and still kind of like rare-ish, especially with the cheese inside. So I'm just gonna give them a couple more minutes. And while they're grilling, I'm just gonna get the rolls ready. So I have ketchup and mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise on my burger. Some people don't. If you don't, don't put it on. So I'll separate the entire roll. 
so it's a little easier. And this burger I'd like to share originated at, in Minneapolis at a bar called Matt's Bar. Actually, there's another bar that claims the fame of the burger as well. And there's kind of like a rivalry, kind of like Philadelphia with Pat's and Geno's. But anyway, this bar made the Juicy Lucy famous, and now it's made its way to the East Coast. We love it. We've had it at a couple restaurants here, and now we make it at home. So I'm going to say they're done. This one's more done than the others. So whoever likes a well-done burger, that one can be yours. So my lids and the bottoms, and now we're going to assemble the burger. So I like to put my lettuce on the bottom, a little onion and tomato. So I like to put the tomato on the bottom as well, on top of my lettuce. And there's actually like a proper way to build a burger and I don't always agree with that, so I'm doing it my own way. And then I like to do a little smear of the ketchup on the top. And then a little bit of mayo on top. Again, if you're not a mayo person, leave it off. It's not a big deal. But if you like the burger secret sauce that many places have, there's mayo in that, people. This way. The big giant burger. Not everybody likes onion, so I'm not going to put it on all of them. Kind of. So it's on there. And then the lid on my giant burger. And there you go. That's the Juicy Lucy. for a bite is a mouthful. Mmm. Perfectly juicy, tender. The cheese is just like the right amount of sharpness. So, so, so good. So messy. So perfect for your summer barbecue, tailgate, game day, whatever. Super easy to make. Don't need to go to Minnesota. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.